Good afternoon, good morning to everyone, or good evening if it's in your time zone already so late. So I'm very happy to present to you what we have done in the last weeks and what our goal and our target is for the next weeks. So uh, I already posted the slides in the GU channel, so please send questions there or also in the Zoom chat. Um, I'm very happy to welcome another two new two team members this month. Um, so Dennis Tang and Lukas Eibert started. Both are uh, based in Germany. Um, and, uh, and we are very happy to have you on board. And we are really looking, everyone is looking forward to work with you and, and see your contributions. They are already deep in code, highly motivated. So um, looks like we, had, we made really good choices there. Um, they are currently getting on board with our uh, specific front end body program. So, if someone is interested, also from uh, uh, other groups, uh, we have uh, started something directly targeted front end engineering. So, uh, this worked quite well with our last candidates, uh, and we got really good feedback on that. Uh, what are our accomplishments uh, over the last five weeks uh, about the front end RKRs of Q1? 2018, we have reached with the deliverables on 10.5, 80%. On 10.6, we haven't reached a really good number uh, due to several reasons. We have reached 65%. Uh, the target that we had of 300 bucks, uh, 300 closed bucks in that time period, we already uh, reached that last uh, Friday. So uh, I hope that we get even more uh, closed on that one. The dispatcher JS and the jQuery upgrade are done. Those are Big refactorings that were done by uh, Jacob's team. Uh, they are also merged. Um, there is a site speed IO Docker setup done by Jose. Thanks for that. Uh, I hope he can hand it over this week to, um, to production so that we have a full Docker Kubernetes setup that automatically uh, goes against GitLab.com and is reporting all the numbers into Graphite. And then we have uh, ongoing performance reports there. Um, overall, our technical directors, we are making quite good progress. Uh, we are moving more and more to view and also bigger view applications, so uh, having better data storage, having routers in there. So we are going more in the single page application direction. And it's working quite well, especially with reusing components. So we have components that are reused by different uh, product parts. Uh, and where we have now made a lot of experience of writing something so it can be reused easily making it more generic and, and basically uh, have a very good impact on our development time because you simply take the components and send something there and suddenly you have uh, comments rendering, by example. Um, the technical team also finished their big uh, refactoring as said. You can read up there more. Um, we, has, we are in the middle of introducing automated code formatting. So we are using a tool which is called Pretty.io uh, to do automatic code formatting on save in our editors. Uh, so we are adding this soon. Uh, and the, one of the next steps will be also that we are doing this on pre-commit. So no front-end code is anymore uh, submitted to the CI or CD that can then fail there on the linting. It's everything's automatically formatted and linted beforehand before you even com can commit. Um, what are our biggest challenges? Let me take a look. Uh, uh, so. Yes, still the quick scaling is definitely one of our highest priority to integrate all two new team members. Uh, we froze the hiring so that we are not overboarding the team with too many pe new people at the same time. Uh, but as I said, Q1 is ending soon, so we, the hiring will be opened again soon. And the other big task and the other big priority is really hitting the 100% delivery. Um, I think there are a lot of different uh, topics that are, that are being tackled. Uh, is it being the feature freeze so that everything is already uh, on the mark when we start our release cycle, but also that we on our hand uh, have to do more pre-planning, do more intensive planning on, on the different tasks and how we work together with different teams. I think we are iterating quite, uh, pretty well uh, that this is getting improved and is being more productive. Um, what are our plans for the next weeks? Uh, implementation goals, reusing, as I said, is a big topic. So we have better reusability uh, that is going hand in hand with the CSS refactoring that uh, the technical team is working on. So building components that are taken from the UX from designgitlab.com and bringing them to life. Uh, the merge request views, so everything that you see on the merge request, 
that is currently one of the slowest parts of the application because simply too much is happening there is currently converted and refactored already one big part was already merged and FAT is doing a great job to bring in over all the different parts so you have a complete view single page application you can switch between the divs it's much faster uh, you have skeleton loading so uh, we are looking forward to reducing the time that this page takes uh, at the moment. And as soon as we have it in view, we have so much more possibilities to even do way more uh, improvement, uh, uh, performance improvements, especially with scrolling and topics like this for really big merge requests, which are always a pain. So, uh, and the other big topic is as we are growing as a huge team, uh, workflow. Uh, so we are trying to do it like automated on the automatic side with tools like Prettier, also, we are looking at boilerplates, uh, but on the other hand, also on documentation so that we extend and, and reshape our documentation, that we get automated documentation uh, from our components and utilities. And on the other hand, also boilerplates so that we have boilerplates, for example, if you want to write a new view uh, reusable component, there's a boilerplate with a checklist in there, what you need to do there, uh, what are our uh, criteria there on the styling, etc. Uh, yeah, and that's something we, we are trying to iterate so that we grow as a team and also on how productive we are and, and reduce time uh, things that we don't need, uh, that we are doing repetitively. Yeah, that's it. Uh, now the main part comes. Uh, who has questions? Uh, from John Northrup. Yes, there was... Um, there is also a uh, thing that is going on that SiteSpeed uh, is reporting to Prometheus uh, uh, and there was already work done. Uh, what we are currently simply doing is to bring SiteSpeed I.O. currently already in the process is simply to, it has a lot of reports so it can help you. It, uh, the Prometheus stuff that is targeted, you can talk to Josh uh, about it. Uh, he knows all the details. Uh, there it's really targeted at the moment at, on one, two, three, four data points. But what SiteSpeed I.O. will give us uh, from our perspective is simply hundreds of data points at the same time. They do video recordings in slow motion automatically so you see which parts of the page are loading. They give you detailed hints. There's a coach implemented. So uh, this is really targeted for us now to improve the performance. And uh, on the other hand, yes, this, that SiteSpeed is a big topic also with the Prometheus team to uh, move that forward. Yeah, after 10.5. So there is already everything saved, I see. So that's something uh, we should take a look at it. Do we still pack JS into one file for all pages uh, by Dimitri? Uh, no, uh, there is uh, the big thing that the technical team was working on was the dispatcher JS stuff. Uh, so splitting up and doing code splitting. Uh, more and more was a big topic there to do uh, dynamic imports. There are still some configurations need to be done to do even more bundling, but we are with, um, have now way more bundles. By example, the IDE has its own bundle, but with all this refactoring, we will get even more and we can reduce the, uh, the whole size and also the libraries that we are loading because exactly uh, that thing is uh, one problem that we are loading JavaScript of pages that most of the people will never even see. Yes, that's the, the, the ultimate goal and have only in the main chase something, uh, in the main package, something that is really loaded or only every time, something like the navigation or something like that. Any other questions? I do the classic countdown, it's a five, a four. If you're not typing fast enough, then please simply speak up. Otherwise, I wish you all a happy day and see you at the team call. Thank you to the whole front end team for their great and awesome work. And thank you everyone for listening and also your questions. See you next time. Bye.